Hello my friends, welcome to another We Are No Code video. In today's video, I prepared a list of resources that can help you push the boundaries of what you can build inside Webflow. So if you want to know more about Webflow and resources around Webflow, stick until the end of the video to find out about these amazing resources that I selected to share with you today. Let's go! Hi! My name is Kyle, I'm the Chief No-Code Officer here at We Are No-Code. In this channel, we talk all about the no-code space and we help you build and launch your startup business without being a technical person by using no-code tools. So if you are new to the no-code space or if you want to know more about the no-code space, leave the thumbs up on the video and also subscribe to the channel. All right, let's talk about the resources that I want to share with you in this video. So the first resource I want to share with you is called Wisage. And Wisage is a SaaS product that you can plug on top of your Webflow project to allow your Webflow project to have more complex features such as connection to an Airtable database or REST APIs. You can create login functionality. You can also collect payment by connecting Webflow with Stripe, for example. You come to their website and then you sign up for an account and then you plug in Wiseit to your existing Webflow project. And they have a bunch of tutorials explaining how you can set up, how you can use the tool. But the thing that I wanna show you today is the fact that you can use this kind of tool to build more complex projects using Webflow. And then you can have an external database, you can create login and sign up functionalities. So basically you can turn Webflow into a more complex no-code tool by using Wiseit and Webflow together. So basically you integrate Wiseit in your Webflow project, then you have a builder inside Wiseit that can show you the classes, can show you the variables and everything. So you can build visually, but with data as well, coming from a database, like I mentioned, it could be a database that is collecting data from Airtable. You can also build a sign up and login experience, you can have all the pages connected and synced with your database. So the person can log in, can sign up, can change their information. So it's really nice. And also you can sell things through Stripe, for example. So you can sync your Stripe plans and collect payments inside your Webflow project by using this integration. So I encourage you to come to their website and check this resource. It's a little bit more complex. It's more for advanced users, but it's a way to extend the features inside your Webflow project and to have more things that natively you can't have using just Webflow. If you want to take your first step into the no-code space and learn how to launch your startup business idea from scratch without being a technical person, we prepared a free course just for you and it's free. To enroll, just go here down below in the video description section. There is a link there, click on it and register for free today. I see you on the free course. Another resource is the wizardry technique. This technique allows you to build fluid websites using RAMs instead of pixels. So you can come to this website, they have a calculator, you can uh, add the design width that you want to work with, the max width that you want to have on your website, the scale type. They will generate the custom code, the CSS custom code that you can then embed inside your Webflow project to make your Webflow project behave uh, in a different way. It will scale down proportionally and it will use different types of measurements uh, based on what you select here. So you can use viewport width or RAMs uh, as a unit for your whole website. And they also have a documentation here that you can read a little bit more about it and how it works. It's a more advanced method to build websites in a responsive way that they scale proportionally. So they also have a jQuery builder. So sometimes you wanna build custom interactions. You wanna use JavaScript, but you don't wanna write everything yourself. You can click here, build all the code, and then you can use this code inside your Webflow pages. They have a documentation as well that you can read and understand how this works and also understand a little bit more about wizardry. Another powerful resource is the Attributes website created by FinSuite. 
This website has a lot of snippets for you to copy, clone and paste in your Webflow project. And you can use the search or you can filter uh, using those categories here. Here you can find a lot of useful snippets that you can use to build inside Webflow. So if you need, for example, a CMS filter, how can you filter dynamic data coming from the Webflow CMS? They have here a resource to help you with that. If you wanna build a social share, for example, a CMS load, they have a lot of uh, interesting things that you might need to use while building inside Webflow. Of course, more advanced features, but it's really nice because then if you are more advanced in the Webflow build, you can build uh, extra features, you can build things that are natively not possible by using a little bit of code or sometimes by copying and cloning some pre-made components. So this can save you a lot of time and you can find a lot of useful components. Like for example, if you wanna build a CMS slider, if you wanna have a CMS tabs, how to create a copy to clipboard functionality, they have a lot of snippets and things that you might need while building advanced Webflow projects. So it's always nice to have access to those kind of resources because then you can get unstuck and also build more professional projects using those resources. Thanks so much for watching so far. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video if you liked the resources and the content and also subscribe to the channel to keep following and discovering more amazing local tools and resources like these ones. Another resource very similar to the attributes is the refocus tools. In this website, you can also find clonables and snippets that you can use to build more complex features inside Webflow. So for example, you have a form validator, you have image magnifier, a slider generator, you have API fillers, rich text enhancer, copy to clipboard. So you have a lot of clonables and helpers that can help you build more complex projects using Webflow. So this is another very awesome and useful library to have in your bookmark list to explore while building Webflow projects in the future. I hope you liked all the resources that I shared with you today on this video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video and also subscribe to the channel. Also send this video to that friend that will like to know about all these amazing resources. That's all that I wanted to share with you in this video. I see you on the next one. Let's no code. <laughs>